Hello, a little hard surface low poly. Let's create such a component like this. I delete everything, reset the view and we need the torus. I rotate the torus in the front view. In the topology it's possible to set an angle. We only need 90 degrees. And we can select the hole. And here you can adjust the radius and the inner radius and so on. But I think it's fine. I validate this object. At the left side, the pivot, I reset it. And in the gizmo settings, I move the object to the origin of the world. Then we add a, a box. The topology is okay, we can validate it. You need the round all brush. Here you can set the, the radius of the corners and brush along a little bit more. I think like this. <coughs> Uh, then use the project tool. Here you can project flat surfaces like this. It's possible to set here the shape line rotation step. And now you get an object like this. then we can adjust the size a little bit and the position. I think this position is okay. A little bit more here. And let the, um, the torus look a little bit through the other object because we, um, we need a Boolean subtraction. At, in the hierarchy, you can clone the torus and hide the first one and hide also the second one, but select only the second. And then select the box, press voxel, and a little bit of higher resolution, and voxel merge the objects. Here with the three dots, you can here separate the object and then you can select the inner part and delete it. And now you can make the torus visible again. And now we can bring the object a little bit better in position. Something like this. Then we need holes in the plate here. Use the insert tool with cylinder. And here you can place now a cylinder and adjust the radius like this. With a gizmo you can bring it in position. And 
go through the object because we need also a boolean subtraction and at the top there's a mirror function you can mirror this object and in the topology um, not topology in the hierarchy you can select here the mirror node and select a second plane the set plane then you get here all your uh, four cylinders in every corner then you can validate the object join the children yes and hide the cylinders select the box and voxel merge now the object is complete then we can select all parts and all voxel merge it higher resolution and okay before we voxel voxel uh, merge it here um, here for the tube or the torus it's yeah let's try a subdivision um, subdivided yeah to make the torus a little bit smoother and li something like this and then we can select all parts and voxel merge it yeah, it's a, too, a little bit of higher resolution so now it's fine we can now rotate the object 45 degrees and with a mirror world mirror left uh, right to the left and the, the part is complete and with a round all brush we can smooth the, the edges a little bit it's too much a little bit like this it's only for the decimation and then it's possible to decimate the object okay this is a wireframe and paint and the object is complete yeah the poly count is now 4000 I think one time decimation yeah Yeah, it's okay. For such a small part, yeah, you can use more resu um, more resolution if you like. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.